Good morning, YCS Indy just wrapped up and we have a new winner, Steven Santoli from Canada with, of course, none other than Rescue Ace, Sinful Spoils, unlike it says on the stream because he's the only one in which it didn't say Sinful Spoils for some reason. So he takes it all with Rescue Ace um, and we're here to talk about the event. I think it was one of the greatest events we've ever seen in terms of like gameplay and feature matches. I think they did a really good job. And also, I think the coverage in general was excellent. Uh, usually, in the EU, the casters and the coverage in general is usually a little bit better. But I think the the NA casters, the team, and of course, the overlays, everything that happens here is just like up a notch. So, well done to them on that. Um, a few words before we start talking about the YCS. New product drop. And we're going to talk about the Abel Star a lot in this video. Look at these incredible Horus Diabel Star and of course the Sinful Spoils Border Sleeves. So if you want to get that from sleevecheap.de, if you're in the US, they have very special low price shipping. Link is going to be in the comment uh, in the description of the video below. And of course, while supplies last, very limited supplies, 100 serialized copies of this field spell featuring this amazing artwork. You can get that. And of course, from Imperium Duelist, we have 10% off my playmat, my Chimera playmat, featuring all your favorite Chimera monsters. So let's talk about uh, the YCS a little bit. I think we have to start, before we talk about the competitive stuff, we have to talk about Jeffrey Leonard with Exodia. This was definitely a first for me. I think it was a first on stream ever. Definitely a win. Um, Jeffrey Leonard, known for playing um, kind of like degenerate decks, but he's a lovable older fella. So people... Um, you know, he can get away with that, and um, he played an Ignite Draco Slayer pile that basically one card combos through Exodia, and did that on stream, he did pull it off, I think uh, hats off to, to Jeffrey for even in his age coming to these types of events and actually cooking with Exodia, coming up with combos that people have never seen before, so... Um, shout out to him. I think that, that that was probably the highlight of the weekend for, for many, many people. So let's talk about the actual stuff. I think that um, the main notable part of this event was that Rescue Ace, Sinful Spoils, with the new Diabell Star support, made every other deck in the room look like a tier 2 or even a tier 3 deck. Uh, I think it was undoubtedly the best deck in the room and it showed uh, with conversion rates of 12 out of the third top 32 slots for rescue ace with the sinful spoils package um if you don't know what it does it allows you to special summon a level the the spell that you see on top of thomas's graveyard here um that is searchable through the abel of the black witch allows you to summon a level one fire monster from the deck which is hydrant um which just makes the deck a lot more consistent and you can see we, we've had a lot of good um, good players playing the deck on stream, Thomas included, and of course Santoli in the finals. Um, really skillful, really showing that the deck is like, oh my god, it has an incredible resource game because you can, of course, besides setting four with Turbulence, which creates a lot of interruptions, then you have the field spell, which you search the turn after, shuffle back all four, reset it, you can do that every single turn, and with the Diabellstar stuff, it just gives it a lot more consistency. I think it just made every other deck look like a like a children's card game deck, basically. Um, so yeah, Diabellstar giving a lot of consistency to the deck. This is just what the deck needed. And I think people were like expecting Rescue Ace. Also, if you didn't check out in my Twitter, I posted my predictions um, for the tier list that I made uh, for the format. And Rescue Ace was like the best deck in 1.5, which is, I think, what most people thought about Rescue Ace. I think most people said it's going to be like the top 1.5 tier deck, um, and it wasn't. I think people were not specifically ready for it, even though everybody's like maining Ash Imperm, uh, it wasn't enough. Uh, and another card that really, really shined was SP Little Knight. If you don't know what this card does, this card is absolutely cracked. Um, I, I think this card was the card of the event. We saw that card in almost every feature match, if not all of them, to be honest. Um, on summon, banishes a card, and then tags out, banishes itself, 
um, or a monster you control and a monster your opponent controls every single turn until the end phase. You can just do that over and over again. Best link to monster in the game, possibly one of the best ever printed that is currently legal. I think that SP just warped the format. Um, I think similar to what we had with DPE, this is, of course, DPE without the bricks and without the main deck spots. You just put one of them in the extra deck. It's extremely generic. I think this is this is the card that dominated the event, besides, like, Rescue Ace, of course. This is the single card. And we see on the other side of the table from here, uh, in Anthony's deck, the Horus engine showing up a little bit to the party. But I think this was definitely the biggest disappointment on my end, just not seeing enough Horus. Not seeing it being utilized enough um, in good decks. We see this in tier limits here a little bit. We did saw, uh, we did see a lot of tier players um, also making it to the top cut. I think it was the second or third most represented deck. But again, next to Rescue Ace, everything else looks just 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 looks like like a pile of garbage. Um, shout out to Triff making it all the way to the top four of the YCS with Manadium, uh, another deck that got some new support in the form of Manadium Trisugda and Visa's Samsara, which are really, really solid cards. And we, we've seen him uh, outside the feature match um, really, really cooking. You can check out the stream if you haven't seen it um, in a game that lasted 20 or 25 minutes over time and him just breaking a full a full tier board, like a full, full end-to-end -end tier board, just breaking it with Manadium. Um, it was really, really nice. For the fans of the channel, Branded is nowhere to be seen, as predicted in my tier list. If you haven't checked it out, check it out in my um, video, the last video I posted, basically. Um, Branded is nowhere to be found, but if I'm going to be honest, I have some plans on... Now that we have like an understanding of the meta with Rescue Ace being in the forefront, Branded, I think, is actually a little bit well-positioned to deal with that, specifically with targeting protection. And I'm actually surprised that Pearly didn't really do so well, even though they have the field spell that allows them to protect themselves from targeting and all of the Rescue Ace cards target. So there should be some connection there, but but not really. And we did, um, speaking of Pearly and, and Unchained, we saw a little bit of that. I think it's like three or two decks of each category making it into the top cut. But again, just not, not enough. I mean, looking at Rescue Ace as like the best, best deck, um, Pearly did get a little boof, a little buff and uh, boof, um, and and also Unchained. I think with Little Knight, uh, Unchained Soul of Rage going into Little Knight is an insane interaction, and we've seen that happen on the stream as well. So Unchained got a little bit of boost for that, and um, Pearly also allowing them to access Little Knight if they can't make plays, just put it as an end board piece, but it's just not enough, just not enough. Um, so we talked about Manadium. I think Manadium was also one of the most represented decks, even though when you look at the top cut breakdown, I posted it on Twitter yesterday, you see like Rescue Ace 12, and then every other thing is like 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. All the decks are just like one because the format is like wide open and just controlled by, by Rescue Ace. Um, so Manadium is one of the top decks. It's a really good combo deck, but I think even though it got some support that made it more strong and more consistent, it's still like extremely telegraphed basic combo deck that just gets stopped with, with the troll, right? Um, and we did also see some Ken and Gen action in the Mechanko feature match. Um, Ken and Gen, uh, if you don't know what they do, they summon each other to their opponent's field and then they activate the effect. So you make like talents and thrust live. Um, we saw that in the context of, uh, I think it was, um, gr not Grinder Golem, um, basically, you, sum you use Geonator Transversor to switch your monsters, you give them a monster that doesn't allow them to special summon. We just see that summoning monsters to your opponent's field is toxic, like, like we always mentioned. Um, yeah, and um, I think this is basically it for the event. I think this event is just like Rescue Ace. Little Knight. This is everything that this event was. And I'm actually pretty happy. I think the coverage was really good. I think it was really interesting. And we saw some very good players running the decks. Um, day one, granted, was kind of a shit show in terms of like the, the players actually running the decks. Um, it was kind of hard to watch with the amount of illegal plays, misplays, and stuff like that. But, you know, feature matches are stressful. 
so we understand that. But day two, man, it was it was absolutely amazing. So uh, congratulations to Santoli taking all the event home with Rescue Ace, sinful spoils, mind you. Um, of course, don't forget to check out the new sleeves, the new field center, the new play mat. You have so much stuff to pick up. Everything is linked in the description below, so make sure you check it out. Leave your comments below on the meta, on the decks, on the, the feature matches. Leave it all in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.